Nick Saban is the best coach in college football for a reason. While his style of play was not exactly modern, he won a lot of games at the beginning of the century. Then, he decided to adapt to the game, get ahead, and take advantage of all the ways to win. We've seen Alabama's offense change drastically, and now, Saban is utilizing the transfer portal. For example, going into last year, he brought in two very high-profile transfers. One was Henry Toa Toa from Tennessee, and the other was Jamison Williams from Ohio State. While Toa Toa was a proven linebacker from the Vols, Williams was a guy who kind of got left behind at Ohio State, and Saban saw men's potential in him. What did both of them do? Well, Toa Toa put himself on the NFL Draft radar and had a terrific season for them, and Jamison Williams was a finalist for the Blitnikoff and a likely first-round pick. Saban always knows what he's doing in the portal, and that is not going to change in 2022. Today, I want to introduce you to the three transfers that Saban brought in, who they are, and why it's going to be genius. Yeah, to people outside of Alabama, it's not fair, but that is definitely how it goes, and Saban is going to turn these guys into stars. So, let's just get started. With Jamison Williams, Jaleel Billingsley, and John Mechie all leaving, the Tide will need to find a new star wide receiver. Obviously, he struck gold with Williams in the portal last year, but can Saban do it again in 2022? Maybe. Coming out of Calabasas High School in California, Jermaine Burton was a top 100 player and the number 15 receiver in the class of 2020. He arrived at Georgia with high expectations and would actually get an opportunity to get on the field pretty early. As a freshman, he catched 27 passes for 404 yards and 3 touchdowns, while becoming the third option behind George Pickens and Kiaris Jackson. Going into 2021, Burton was expected to step up even more, and he did to a degree, but he was also sort of disappointing. He caught 26 passes for 497 yards and 5 touchdowns, but as we saw, Georgia was better at running the ball, and for Jermaine, he'd have a decision to make. While he did just beat Alabama in the national championship game, he decided to enter the portal and head over to Tuscaloosa. Jermaine definitely knows what Saban has been doing with wide receivers, and if he wants to have a big year and eventually get to the NFL, he's making a great move. He'll have an opportunity to start from day one, get coached at the highest level, and make a name for himself at college football's best program right now. Honestly, I think he will be the go-to option for Bryce Young, and I can see him having a thousand yard season and becoming a first round pick. There were a lot of Georgia fans that were not happy about this, but as a career move for Jermaine, I see it as genius, and Saban's gonna get the most out of this guy. In 2019, Derek Stingley came into LSU with unbelievable hype. In 2020, they brought in another big name. Eli Ricks is originally from California, but he later transferred to IMG Academy, where he became a big-time recruit. In fact, he was a five-star player, the number two corner, and the 14th best player in the class of 2020. After LSU won the national title, he'd have an opportunity to start immediately for the Tigers. He'd end up recording 20 total tackles with five pass deflections and four interceptions, two of which went to the house for touchdowns. Because of that, he was a freshman All-American, seen as one of the top returning defensive players in the country, and was expected to be the anchor of this 2021 LSU defense. Unfortunately though, it did not go well. He finished the year with 11 tackles with one pass deflection and one interception, and he'd get hurt midway through the year, and he would decide to call it quits early on the team. He had entered his name into the transfer portal, and many schools from all around the country wanted his talents. Some thought he'd go to Ohio State, but they did not want him, and eventually, Nick Saban came calling and decided to sign Ricks. The Alabama secondary was sort of a problem in 2021, and Ricks is the kind of guy who can come in right away and be a star. While some people do have concerns about his character and how he will mesh with team chemistry, Ricks has all the talent, has already shown flash in the best conference, and will get the best coaching to help him become a star. I think Ricks could be the best player in the secondary and also become a first round pick if he has a great 2022 season. The rich get richer. Finally, we get to the last transfer and that is at the running back spot. Brian Robinson had a breakout season as a starting back, but Saban decided he was going to go grab one of the best players in the country and my personal favorite transfer in the country, Jameer Gibbs. Coming out of Dalton High School in Georgia, Gibbs was a big time player as he was ranked as the number 8 back in the nation and the 76th best player overall in 2020. Unlike many recruits of his prestige, he did not decide to go to a blue chip program. He went to Georgia Tech. Alongside Jordan Mason, as a true freshman, he ran the ball 89 times for 460 yards and 4 touchdowns. In 2021, he was expected to once again be a star, and he ran the ball 143 times for 746 yards and 4 touchdowns. No, those numbers do not jump off the page, but he also caught 36 passes for 470 yards and 2 touchdowns out of the backfield, and returned both kicks and punts. This guy is an all-around weapon, and will fit very well in Alabama's system. He's an athletic freak, can do a little bit of everything, and has two years of starting experience. Add in the fact that Georgia Tech is a complete dumpster fire, and all of a sudden Gibbs' stats actually look a little bit better. For how bad the Yellow Jackets have been, Gibbs has been one of their best players they've had over the last few years, and put him in a system with a great offensive line, 
great coaching, a Heisman level quarterback, and a system designed to help him. And I think Gibbs is honestly a dark horse Heisman contender. He'll catch balls out of the backfield, take runs to the house, and maybe even return a kick or a punt for a touchdown as well. He's probably my favorite Georgia Tech football player of all time, and I cannot wait to see him at Alabama. So yes, Alabama grabbed three transfers in 2022, which included Jameer Gibbs, a running back from Georgia Tech, Eli Ricks, a secondary player from LSU, and Jermaine Burton, a wide receiver from Georgia. All three of these guys have first round potential and superstar potential, and while maybe not all three of them will live up to the hype, I think at least two of them will, and they're all going to be fun to watch. Nick Saban knows what he wants, and he has made the absolute most of the transfer portal, and out of any team in 2022, I'd say Alabama won the portal. But what do you guys think? If you're a Bama fan, how do you think these three transfers will do? If you're a fan of another school, let me know your favorite transfer and also what topic I could take a look at in my next video. Also, before you go, don't forget to subscribe for more college football content, like the video if you want to support the channel, and check out all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.